Hi everyone, how are we all doing? Are you feeling fresh today after New Year's Eve? Or are you not? Let me know in the comments. What did you get up to? Did you go out? Did you stay home? Uh, yeah, let me know what you got up to. But let's talk about 2024. I did a video yesterday where I, I spoke to you about some of the trends that are coming out in terms of, in particular, handbags. I will link to that video below if you missed it because some of the trends I really like. I don't really love a lot of them though, to be honest. And um, I really thought that when I was doing the video, I was like, last year I got it. Last year I quite liked the, the kind of Y2K thing. I didn't mind that. Quiet luxury, I could kind of get on board with that, even though quiet luxury is still gonna be a, a thing this year. Very much that's still gonna stay with us. But um, yeah, this year, stripes, weird shaped bags, I, I can't get on board with it. But I do have eight amazing bags that are really worth you buying if you're in the market for a new bag and the key thing here is everything is under 4k now 4k is a load of money and if i go back to 2016 i used to be able to do these videos and i could say to you here are 10 bags and they're under 1500 pounds can't do that anymore really there are slim pickings under 1500 to the point where there's actually nothing really from a lot of the top brands. Um, however, you look at 4K and, and your options open up. So I'm gonna share with you eight of the best, but actually a lot of the prices, a lot of the things I'm gonna share with you are all around two and a half, sort of like two and a half thousand pounds mark. So not quite near 4K, but you'll know what I mean when I get into it. Okay, the first one, and this isn't one bag in particular, this is a brand. Go and take a look at Chopin. And I'm sure if I've said that wrong, I'm sure you will correct me in the comments, please go ahead. Uh, but go and have a look because I don't know whether you knew this, but they actually make their own bags and small leather goods. Now, if I'm gonna show you a few here. However, please be aware of the prices because you can pick up a tote bag and it's 920 pounds from memory, it's 900 something. Um, but also a lot of their bags are sort of around about 1500 pounds. So a load less than 4K. You're still getting a designer bag and I would imagine the quality is excellent. Have a look online, see if there's anything you like, maybe go in store. Um, I, I haven't ever seen these bags in real life, you know that. I don't know why that is. I've seen the jewellery, but I've never seen the bags out on display, but go and have a look online because honestly, some of their stuff's actually really good. The next one is from Chanel. Now, this is the most expensive bag I'm going to show you, but for Chanel, it's like the cheapest bag that they do. And it's the Chanel Mini Square. This is a great bag. There is a downside to it. It is mini, it is small. And so if you're someone who carries around a little bit more, I would say to skip this bag. I've got it in like a vintage size, which weirdly is like a little, it feels a little bit bigger than the newer versions, but I've got a newer version and a vintage version. And I don't really use either of them because I feel like I find that I carry around more stuff with me now than actually fits into those bags. So bear that in mind, but for how much? 3,950 pounds, so call it 4K, you can get yourself a Chanel bag. It's ridiculous money. When I bought mine, it was about 3,100 pounds, you know that, it wasn't anywhere near 4K, it was still a lot, but it wasn't near there. Um, it's just crazy prices. Next up, let's talk about Dior. When you think about Dior, you might think of the saddlebag, the book tote, the Lady Dior, and they are all expensive bags. The saddlebag actually is under 4K from memory, so that would be a bag that if you're interested in and if that's your sort of budget that you could actually get. But there is another one to consider, and it's this. This is a new out bag, and one thing I've noticed with Dior, and I don't know whether it's tactical or whether it's just by chance, but if you look at the Lady Dior, medium size is now what? 5,300, which leaves a really big gap in the market for people that have a budget between two and 4K. In, in Just in my thoughts, that's kind of how I feel about it. They have come out with quite a lot of new bags that fill that gap. And I wonder whether that is tactical and has been done on purpose or whether it's just by chance 
but they've suddenly got lots of new bags coming out and they are in that price bracket now one in particular that i thought was worth sharing with you is the 30 montane east west this is 2550 pounds so quite a bit under 4k a lot cheaper than the lady dior if you're into a dior bag this is worth this is one worth looking into if you like it but it's too small for you go and have a look go on the website order everything by price low to high have a look at what they've got they actually do have quite a few options they've also got another new bag out um i forget the exact name of it i'll put a picture of it in here and i also really like this bag and this is around about two or three k from memory it's just a really nice bag so they do actually have options now so maybe go and have a look there as well wow okay you can actually get a lot in gucci within budget within this budget you can get a lot in fact i would say you can get a lot in gucci from a thousand pounds up to three thousand that in that bracket there's a lot to choose from particularly their canvas range where it tends to be a bit um cheaper anyway but one bag i wanted to show you is the gucci horse bit now the one i'm showing you here is actually from memory a little bit more expensive than the canvas one because it's leather but also because the horse bit on the front is actually encrusted in jewels. So bear that in mind. This one is £2,910. But as I said, I think from memory, the version that's not kind of all blinged up is actually less. So have a think about Gucci as well. Oh my gosh, this next one I'm really excited to share with you because I was quite surprised when I saw it. So I was doing this video and I thought, mm, I wonder if there's anything at Hermes that you can get for 4k and under bag wise and i found this this is the it's like a little tote bag it's called steeple and it's in the 25 size so presumably it comes in other sizes um i don't know loads about hermes but i know that the number denotes the size so i'm guessing 25 means it's like this on the smaller end of the spectrum and this is 3440 pounds not only that but it's currently available on the website to buy and I know it can be quite difficult to buy their bags, um, availability, being offered them in the first place, etc. But if this is a bag you like, run to Hermes now because it is available. Another really big one is from Fendi. If you look at the baguette bag, the baguette bag, I love it because it's a classic. It's long term. It's always been here. It's always going to be here. But the prices on Fendi are really good. So if you go to Fendi... Go and have a look on the website if you just want to get a sense of prices first. But they actually have a lot of bags that are around about £1,500. You know, they've got the Trezor bag. They have, um, they've got a few bits and pieces. I'll put some like images in here to give you some ideas. But they've got a few things on there that are within budget. But the baguette bag, you might be surprised to know. The small size starts out at £1,750. That's under 2K for a designer bag. If you go up to the larger size, I think it's just a bit over 2K, which I still think is a good price for that bag, for what you're getting. It's a very iconic bag. So again, go and have a look at the Fendi website. If you're in the market for a Fendi bag, go and check out their website because there's a lot on there. Two more to go. The next one is from Bulgari. Bulgari is another brand where I, I feel like initially they were known for making fine jewellery. And then I would say, personally, I think for me, their use of influencer marketing has been very clever because it's made me think of them now in it as, as handbags as well. Whereas before, I wouldn't have thought of them like that. So, for example, if you take Cartier, I still think about that brand primarily as being jewellery first. I don't really think about... Or same thing with Tiffany, actually. Tiffany & Co. They sell handbags and leather goods, but... When I think about that brand, that's not what I think of. With Bulgari, that's what I think of now. I think about bags as well as jewellery. And in some ways, I think about bags over jewellery in terms of what that brand has to offer, weirdly. That's just my thing. But I have a Bulgari bag, and it's so good. I have got the Serpenti Forever with the top handle in pink. The stitching is perfect. Everything lines up. The hardware is great. It doesn't scratch up. It's just an all round brilliant bag. And I really rate their bags. I think the quality of them is excellent and they're based on the quality of what you get. You even get things like, with mine, I got a rain jacket for it. 
I got a matching mirror that was inside the bag on the inside pocket and the mirror matches the colour of the bag. It's all those little details that you get that make something worth the price. And this bag that I'm going to show you here is £2,290. Let me tell you, for this bag, out of experience, for this bag, that is a great price for what you get. And now finally, number eight. This is a bag from Cartier. It's one that I've shown you before because I really like it and it has caught my eye. And it is the C de Cartier and it's £2,480. So this is, it actually reminds me of the Hermes Constance bag, which is another bag that I really like. Um, it's a fraction of the price, but it's the same vibes. If you like the Celine Triumph bag, but you feel like it's maybe a bit too regular now, think about this because it's pretty much the same thing. I have seen the Cartier version in real life and it's beautiful and I really like it in that deep red as well, like that classic red. I think it looks really great. But for what you get, it's one of those logos where if you know, you know. I just love the bag and it's unique. You don't see them everywhere. They're not big on social media. So you could wear it and not worry too much about like a thief recognizing it and going, oh, that's Cartier. I'm going to go and steal that from you. You know, it could still happen, but it's not like wear a, you know, Chanel bag where everyone knows it's Chanel. With this, I feel it's a bit more discreet, even though it's still got the label, the logo on there and the price is good. So I would say these, in just in my humble opinion, I feel like these are some of the best eight handbags worth considering if you're in the market for a new handbag. There are some that are particular favourites with me. Some that I like them all, but some I really, really love and I really think they're good. So definitely check them out. I want to thank all of you for watching. I'm going to do another video tomorrow and it's going to be a handbag unboxing. I've bought two new bags, so come and check back tomorrow if you want to see what I've bought. Thank you all so much and I hope you have a lovely evening or if you're watching and you're in a different part of the world, a good morning or a good afternoon.